Hi guys and welcome to our channel Cooking Like Antonio. And today we're going to be going through the steps for making this delicious potato cake or potato casserole. So stick around and let's get started. Okay, we've washed and peeled four and a half pounds or two kilograms of potatoes. Uh, cut them up and we're going to add those to a pot. Um, put them in some water and put them on the stove top. Yep, and then we'll cook those until they are nice and tender and then we will mash them. Okay, okay this recipe calls for four eggs. We're going to go ahead and crack those into this bowl. Okay, and as you can see on the left there, we have boiled the potatoes and drained them. And so we're going to go ahead and whisk those eggs. So we're going to go ahead and whisk these eggs together. Okay. okay, so we're going to go ahead and mash the potatoes up nicely. They are nice and soft. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, in the intro to this recipe, he says that. Um, okay, I'm going to switch here to a different utensil. It is originally from the south of Italy, and it was often used. It was often used for picnics, or simply as a vehicle to use up leftovers. Okay, we have those mashed up, so we're going to go ahead and add the butter and the egg. So first, we're going to do the butter. So we're going to do half of the butter. Go ahead and put that in there. Okay. So we're going to add the butter, let that melt in, and then we are going to add the grated Parmesan cheese. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add the Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. And that is two ounces of freshly grated Parmesan cheese. And as you can see, that's a pretty stiff mixture that we go have going on there. It's not like mashed potatoes that you would make as a side dish. So next we're going to add the eggs. Okay. We'll go ahead and add the eggs then. And hopefully the heat doesn't scramble it. No. Well. Mm. Making much less stiff. Okay, at this point we are going to add a little bit of freshly grated nutmeg as well as salt and pepper. Okay, we're going to add some salt and pepper. And we'll be, just be doing that to taste. Um, you can always add a little salt later if mm -hmm. it's not enough. Yep. Okay, so next we're going to take the Fontina cheese. You can also use any kind of soft cheese according to the recipe. And we're just going to cut that into little slices. Okay, we're going to attempt to do it with this peeler here. Yeah, and the Fontina is a cheese that melts very nicely. Okay, um, and then we're going, going to layer that on top of the potato. I guess these slices don't need to be perfect, perfect. Oh no, they're going to melt anyway. You just yeah. kind of... And just shave it off. Yeah, have a, we'll have a way to spread it out. And that is four ounces of Fontina cheese, or 150 grams. So now that we have that done, we're going to go ahead and layer a cheese here on this. So next we are going to put a layer of ham and salami on top of the cheese. Okay, we'll go ahead and do that, kind of a mixture of both. Okay, so the ham and the salami has been sliced fairly thinly. Um, you can also use either ham or salami, or both, um, but you're going to need a total of four ounces of ham and or salami. Personally, I think the mixture of the two sounds better. Okay, and there we have it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take about 
half of the remaining butter and just put little dots of that over the top of the meat. I guess we'll just eyeball that. I guess I'll just use the fork here and just kind of about half. Yeah, about half of it and just like break off little pieces and okay. add it on top. Okay. Antonio is not shy with his butter in his, in his recipes. Okay, we'll just about have that done. And there we go. Okay, and then finally we are going to add the remaining potato on top. Okay, so we'll go ahead and smooth that out. Mostly done already. Okay, that looks pretty good. And um, now we are just going to top that with some breadcrumbs. Okay, which we happen to have right here. And that is half an ounce or 20 grams of fine breadcrumbs. And there we go. Okay, and then just the, do the same with the remaining butter. Sprinkle it up, break it off. and yeah, just little dots of butter. Okay, go ahead and do that again. Okay, and then um, that is going to go into our preheated oven. And that's going to be baked for 25 minutes. Okay, and there we go. All right. Mm, Mamma mia! We are ready for the moment of truth. We are going to go ahead and taste this delicious looking potato cake with the cheese oozing out. And It seems like a very simple basic dish, but let's give it a chance. Yeah, let's give it a go. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That's comfort food right there. That's comfort food. Antonio did not let us down again. We're going to think of this kind of a basic meal, but my goodness, it just everything just comes through. Mm. Very interesting take on mashed potatoes, uh, the salami, the cheese, it just mm, all together, just awesome. If you guys want to try this at home, let us know what you think. Mm, highly recommended. And we'll see you next week. And I'm going to keep on eating. Enjoy. That's good. Mm. Mm. Mm.